Hey everybody, uh, I have a lot of people that complain about uh, pain between their shoulder blades or sometimes uh, rib pain. Uh, generally pain between your shoulder blades is rib pain, so I want to show you a simple stretch that you can do uh, at home but can help to alleviate that. Um, I'm just going to quickly explain what happens with our ribs. When our ribs, uh, when we're breathing, our ribs are moving up and down. So when we have a problem with our ribs, they usually get stuck down in the sort of expiration phase of breathing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a stretch that helps to encourage the inspiration phase. Now, you know, when you breathe in, you kind of naturally sort of stand up straighter. When you breathe out, you naturally sort of fall forward. And, and we tend to spend so much of our times hunched over forward, looking at our phones or our tablets or our computers, or people end up sitting in kind of a slouch posture. So those muscles that should be opening up quite a lot, if we're sort of moving around and having a, a good level of activity, aren't working quite as effectively. So what we're going to be doing is doing a stretch, which is going to slowly and gently open up those muscles in between the ribs uh, that allow you to uh, be able to breathe more easily. So again, the problem is these muscles sort of tighten up between the ribs. We're just going to do a gentle stretch that helps to open them up. Now, when you see your chiropractor, they can do stretches. I like to do them standing up, but we do a stretch on the ribs. We lean you back just a little bit and just a little stretch here, and we can actually open up specific muscles between the ribs. Uh, this is more of a general type of a stretch, uh, but it is something very, very effective that uh, everyone can do uh, at home. So if you have some pain between your shoulder blades or you have some uh, rib tension, if you're aware of this rib tension, this uh, should work very well for you. It's a great exercise. Not, I shouldn't call it an exercise. It's really just a stretch, but it's something that you can do every day um, and is a very, very simple tool that you need. Everyone should have a towel. Uh, I would recommend having like a big bath towel. Uh, if you take the short end of the towel, which is this here, um, and fold it like this, then what you're going to end up with is a something about as wide as your shoulders, okay? And then what you want to do is just fold that and roll it into a nice tight uh, bundle. So we're going to roll this up nice and tight. And uh, some people might say, well, can you use a foam roller? Um, you know, I would say no, because foam rollers tend to be quite firm and aggressive. Um, when you roll a towel, even if you're rolling it quite firmly, it still has a certain amount of give to it, okay? And you want something that's about that size. Um, and what we're going to be doing is putting this behind our back uh, like this. So it's essentially in this orientation, not that. So it's going to be like this behind our back. Uh, if you're a woman, sort of start at bra level. If you're a man, just guess. Uh, we're going to be starting about here, um, laying back on it. And then you can move it up or down, depending on where you feel you're getting the most stretch. So let me just show you how we do this. Um, just lay down on something. It doesn't have to be on a, on a couch like this. In fact, it's better if it's on the floor or on a rug, something that's a little more firmer, that doesn't have any give. So don't do this on your mattress, uh, do this on the floor. <clears throat> you just get that towel behind here, just like this. Once you lay back, you'll feel where there's stretch. You might feel you need to just adjust it up or down just a little bit. When you find the spot, you're gonna be very aware of it. You'll feel, oh yeah, that's definitely the spot. And what you wanna do is just let your arms hang out to the side Try to let your body relax and just breathe gently. And this is basically it. You just have to stay in this position. Um, and you're going to kind of go through about three phases. The first phase is when you're kind of going, oh, wow, that's, a, that's definitely the spot. It's maybe you feel the, the, the stretch. It's, it shouldn't be painful, but you'll definitely feel that there's a stretch there. Uh, the next phase after you're there for, you know, maybe 20, 30 seconds, you start to feel your body start to relax. And then you can really enjoy that phase. As your body relaxes more and more, you'll feel that your ribs will open up. And the last phase, you'll feel just really wonderful. It feels like a really, really wonderful stretch. Once you've had a nice stretch, you can then go back and just adjust it down a little bit or up a little bit and try to find if there's any more stretching in any other areas that would be beneficial to you. So again, it's just a very, very simple stretch you can do. Um, and what it's doing is really targeting those sort of areas wherever there is tension. It's very slow, it's very gentle. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very safe uh, stretch, uh, but it's one that you can do at home. Obviously, many of you right now can't get to your uh, doctors so, uh, or your chiropractors or whoever it is that helps you with, with whatever you're feeling. 
Uh, so this is just a little something that uh, I hope can help some of you out there. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll put up some more videos uh, in the next few days.